thank you all for coming here today. On August 31st of 2018, Cumberland County's District Attorney's Office embarked on a new program that will bolster our ability to solve crimes uh, by use of a widespread rollout of what is called rapid DNA technology. Our program has acquired an in-house thermal Fisher rapid DNA instrument, which we'll show you uh, right after this, uh, which is now located in the forensic laboratory in Carla. This program will enhance traditional DNA capabilities with rapid DNA to develop and investigate and leads to police to solve property crimes. Statistics provided by the United States Department of Justice indicate that in property crime cases, if DNA evidence is collected and processed, more than twice as many suspects are identified, arrested, and prosecuted. DNA is five times more likely to result in a suspect identification as compared to a traditional latent fingerprint analysis. Traditionally, DNA samples have not been obtained in property crimes due to the expense of the analysis and the slow turnaround time of that analysis. According to the 2016 Uniform Crime Report, Cumberland County reported 2,970 property crimes, which includes robberies. The benefit of acquiring this piece of equipment will be quite apparent to our citizens as we proceed with the police training program. Uh, Chief Adams from Upper Alice Department was the first uh, group to undergo the training, and I'll let him speak now. Thank you. We're excited to partner with the, the DA's office to be the first department to be trained and, and start this project. And even though it appears to be about law enforcement, the reality of it is this is all about the victims. Traditionally, DNA is used for the, the major violent crimes, the homicides, the rapes, uh, which are very important crimes. But property crimes to the victims are just as important. This yeah, this is the instrument, and it is called a rapid hit. It is thermo fisher, as I said before. There's cartridges that go in the top portion of the instrument. The cartridges look like this. There is direct analysis of each item that we put in. I have prepared a sample um, for you to see today. I have direct chewing gum in there. I have a swab that was taken from an item. I have the top of a um, straw and a cigarette butt. So those are samples. I, tr I will never use all of the sample because, again, this is just an investigative lead. So what I'm looking to do is just give a presumptive test and then we will confirm that presumptive test with traditional DNA, which gets sent out. Right now we're using Bodie um, out of Virginia to do our analysis for that. It's very simple. There's only two cartridges. There's an anode that goes in there and a cathode that goes in here. It's an A and a B cartridge. It takes 120 minutes to get a result. 